and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head! What is this? <sighs> Squaw, you are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Who am I? Your only chance of survival. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Surprisingly adequate in battle. You! Get me out of this damn city! We have no time for stragglers. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. The console appears dormant. The console hums to life. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. They'll have to wait. We need to get off this ship alive first. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Shadowheart. One moment. <laughs> A 
It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. King Yank. Deal with the Geich after we escape.
Don't waste a step.
As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through, but it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. recognize this place but anything's an improvement on where we just came from first things first we need supplies shelter and most of all a healer we might have escaped but we still have these little monsters in our heads we need each other and we both know what's at stake can't think of better company One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Survival isn't such a distant prospect. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? You want to keep that darling neck of yours. And you, keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. 
I need her alive. Stow that blade, or I'll show you just how messy things can get. Ah, promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. You wretched little... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things, somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. The strong and silent type. All right. Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right, I accept. Lead on. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Should have clarified. Mm -hmm. Helping and anyone? Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Apologies. I didn't exactly memorize my cephalopodian banishment spells last night. Wasn't the best prepared for an attack by squid. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nausloid as well. I 
can only assume you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Oh, and I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. Perhaps I can join you later instead. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return. Go to hell. to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Merely contemplating. Devils. Dragons. Mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. This ballet of flames invites reflection. But you're right. Let's be up with a lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. What were you two talking about? You and Gail. I see. I'd be careful with Gail. He's a wizard. All they care about is power. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. <laughs> 